hockey. It's a wonderful game. Uh, it's a beautiful game. It's a game where Alex Ovechkin scored a hat trick last night. Uh, I bought two tickets to that game for, for somewhere around like almost $400 total for those two tickets. My buddy and my son enjoyed the game because as I tried to buy a third ticket for myself on the way to the game, this game got sold the F out and I got locked out. And so I drove around Washington, D.C. for a couple hours taking in the sights. And my son and my friend enjoyed a good game. Um, that's pretty funny. Uh, way to go, Caps. All right, let's talk about the hockey day on Friday. Wow, pretty good day for the algorithm. I know this, too, because I hit five out of six on my round robin. It's a good thing I don't talk about my bets because anything comes out of my mouth and a video loses. I didn't do too much talking um, yesterday, and there was a lot of winning. A lot of good score predictions, too. Rangers, no trouble with Boston. Carolina gets off the shine against Philly. This game is weird. I feel like it's a push, actually. I don't know that we actually won it. I think it, the margin was almost like like almost nothing. So it's a push game, really. But it shows you that Chicago's underdog line wins here and beats St. Louis. Winnipeg gets crushed by Minnesota. Um, terrible, right? 7-1. Algorithm wins it there. Ottawa, Anaheim, not a problem. I mean, easy. Easy peasy. Florida, Washington, tons of goals. I watched some of it on, t on, on the phone. It's pretty fun. Um, they went with Samsonov instead of Vanacek. I wonder if they're watching the videos. And he played well. He's good. I like him. And and Borowski was in and out and in and out of this game. Uh, back and forth, back and forth. Like um, uh, like red light, green light freaking out there. I mean, he, he, he they, they kept pulling him off for concussion protocol. And I guess he's like, I'm a Russian. Let me back in the game. And, and then they did. And he played. So good for him. Um Jersey and, and Spencer Knight gives up a goal to Ovechkin in that game, and they lose by one. To Jersey and Philadelphia, it's sorry Nashville and Jersey, and Jersey wins. Okay, wow. Buffalo, not a problem with Montreal. I mean, nice predicted scoring there. Tampa Bay, no problem with the Kraken. One of those games where they win a low-scoring game shutout. Good for them. Vancouver Columbus wins this game. Another one the algorithm had. Pittsburgh, the number one pick of the day, wins 1-0. Mm. Man, are the Islanders in bad, 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 bad shape in Long Island. Oh, my goodness. Colorado, this one I lost. The only one I lost. Uh, I had Colorado over Dallas. And Ottinger, oh, shocker. If I'd known Ottinger was playing, I wouldn't have bet Colorado. Look at that, 85% rating. Off the wall, hockey guys doing a video like Ottinger's freaking one of the best goalies. They got to put next thing you know, we got Ottinger playing, we got Dallas winning. Um, and then Toronto and San Jose, easy one for Toronto. Once again, projected score, doing good things. Uh, I had the under in this game by accident and won. There was three goals in like the first 10 minutes, and then they didn't score anymore. <laughs> We're pretty much, that's awesome. Um, so, all right, that was that day. Let's talk about today. Saturday. And we have, what is it, seven games on the schedule? We've got nine. Oh, nine games. All right. Well, uh, we'll try to talk and not talk at the same time. We'll say what the algorithm says. Algorithm says the number two pick of the day is Florida. What's number one? Number one all the way downhill at Calgary against a Winnipeg team that is not playing well. Okay. Yep. Confirmations all around. Better goaltender, better power, better projected score. Calgary, number one pick of the day. Number two is Florida. Coming off the rough loss with a bunch of goals last night, but they're playing Seattle in Florida also. Um, actually, a reasonable line for that game. Um, thinks they crush it. Buffalo and Detroit. Aaron Dell, bad rating for Buffalo. Once again, we don't have confirmed goalies, and confirmed goalies really matter. The margin here is about 10, so it's a pick em game. So it says, algorithm says, doesn't know. I'm actually going to prepare the algorithm and say, push already. That's how we'll know. We'll just leave push in there. Montreal, Pittsburgh. Yep. Yep. Third pick of the, you can see the second pick of the day's line is a little better than the third pick, but they're about the same. Edmonton and, Ed, or as my son calls them, Edamonte. He, he read the name and thought they were Edamonte. I love that. Edamonte versus the Vegas Golden Knights. Wow. Tie. Pick them. Says tie. All right. Regulation tie when you see that. That's our cue. I know the score says 4-3, but it's actually a little more to go. Maybe not. Maybe you should trust the score a little more than the margin because I haven't adjusted the 30 and 15 day yet. So maybe not a tie, but close. It's usually when the projected score says tie that it's better, actually. Ottawa and L.A. 
Not to, wow, it favors Ottawa by margin. How about that at 185? Because both these teams are playing by one of those again, where if a bad team is going to beat another bad team, it's going to be another bad team they're going to beat. And so bad, bad game here. It's a push game, but, but keep in mind, it said push Ottawa. Columbus and St. Louis. Columbus, yeah, St. Louis not playing great lately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although they are favored in adjusted power and in goaltending with Villa, who's so who's good. So this is a so I, I want to call this a push game already, even though that's a twenty seven percent because of this. You, you can't bet against a good goaltender on a close margin game, so it's a push game. Dallas and Arizona, all the push games will probably win. By the way, uh, are they going to go with good open? You probably because Ottinger just played yesterday. Gives somewhat more of an edge to Arizona, but the margin's terrible. The line's terrible. Eh. Mm. Udoman fighting for a job. Arizona playing a little better. I'm scared of this game. I'm going to play it. Nashville and Colorado again. No, no, yes. Yeah. So Colorado coming off a loss last night. Slightly favored, 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 favored. Not favored. Jonas Johansson goes against Riddish. Watch out. Tough game. I would say almost don't play that game. And then the number one pick is Calgary. So that's the day. My round robin, uh, the algorithm's round robin, it's not my choice, is going to be Calgary to win, Florida to win. No, I'll take it to win in hockey. I don't mess around with one and a half. You don't have to. and kind of have to, but not really. Uh, Pittsburgh to win. You know, mm, that, that was about it, right? Yeah, there's only three that probably really win, and they are one, two, three. So, I mean, that's what the algorithm's supposed to do. Give you one, two, three, and you bet one, two, three, and hopefully you win one, two, three. So we'll see. Good luck, everyone. May all your picks be winning.